This conversation is taking place at the DuPont Environmental Center in the Russell W. Peterson Wildlife Refuge. We're at the DuPont Environmental Education Center on the riverfront in downtown Wilmington talking with John Sweeney. John's the Opinion Pages editor at the News Journal. Welcome, John. Thank you. Uh, just so everybody understands, he took the job that I had about seven years ago. Um, and I had done it for about 20 some years. I assume that the News Journal institutionally has a position on, on various issues. Um, and uh, how does that happen? How, how, do you, how do you arrive at that? Let's just take, you're going to endorse a candidate. Right. Uh, how, how does, what's we, the process? We have an editorial board at, at present, include, at present includes myself, uh, the publisher, Howard Griffin, and Rhonda Graham, our editorial writer. And we sit down and discuss these issues and, and try to formulate a policy. We uh, use the, uh, the history of the News Journal and positions that have been developed over, over a number of years and try to uh, look at that and see the path forward. We try to think in terms of what is good for Delaware or what is good for the city of Wilmington, the Newcastle County, the other towns. Uh, in communities in Delaware and say, how does this news affect people? How will this candidate affect them? And try to weigh that back and forth. Uh, we don't always agree, and at times we have to come to a compromise, and uh, it's not necessarily my viewpoint on all these issues, and it's not necessarily the complete viewpoint of the other people on the board either. Is it possible to categorize uh, the News Journal's point of view? I mean. Could you, I mean, everybody wants to say, well, you're liberal or you're conservative or you're moderate or, uh, is there a reasonable and fair way of characterizing the editorial opinions? I think that we're, we're fairly, uh, uh, pretty much in the middle because we're liberal on some issues and on other issues we're, we're somewhat conservative. Uh, what we try to look at is, um, what is good for Delaware and uh, to, to weigh those issues, both uh, uh, the negative and, and, and the positive, and try to come up with an answer. Now, there are certain issues that we have stood for over the years, over decades, I think, that um, uh, we still, uh, still look at and we measure news against that. For example, the death penalty. We've been a critic of the death penalty for I don't know how many years. Uh, we are for open government. We are, and I don't think that will change. We think that the people who are elected to public office need to be accountable. Uh, when it comes to elections, for example, we have uh, criticized both political parties for not coming to the, to the issues, for not coming to the elections and the ballot. With, with candidates. Uh, the upcoming election is an example of that. Here in, in Wilmington, there are very few Republicans. We think that takes away from the public debate. So who are we criticizing there? We don't like one party systems, no matter who runs them. Your opinion pages, uh, you have a lot of letters to the editor on most days. Um, you have um, usually two or three other columns in addition to your, uh, you know, institutional opinion. Uh, how do you select uh, those elements? How do you, you know, whose letters get in, whose columns are chosen to run? Is it more important to be local than national? Uh, what are those criteria? Certainly. We try to, with the, uh, the op-ed or the opposite editorial pages, the, the, the opinion columns, we call them Delaware Voices. Uh, they get a higher priority than national columns if we have something that comes in. Uh, naturally, being in print, uh, we have uh, space limitations. Uh, just as in broadcast, there's time limitations. For letters, we try to get as many letters as we can into the paper. Uh, we put a limitation on how, people, how often people can write. Uh, we don't want a handful of individuals getting in the paper too often. Some people write us every day, uh, as you well know, and probably the same people. 
and they write us on, on every little bit. We try to, we try to keep track of them. Uh, we also try to avoid, in the op-ed uh, columns and in the letters, personal attacks on individuals, personal attacks on other letter writers, for example, name calling or wild accusations of some crime, alleged crime and so forth, we, we, won't, go, we won't go against. Uh, we won't print, I mean. Uh, we also try to um, get the viewpoints about uh, what we think of our society as a whole and government. We, for example, we don't really look for people's opinions on how well the Phillies or the Eagles are doing and so forth. We want to get it more or less on, on the subjects that affect all of us and, uh, and the state of, uh, of Delaware. Thanks, John. Okay. You're connected with Content Delaware.